Hey loves, just wanted to jump on really quick and um, just give you guys a little bit of information about the upcoming uh, retrograde um, that is coming next week. So as I mentioned in the last video, we have another planet that's coming into retrograde along with Pluto. I mean, it's bad enough already that we have Pluto in retrograde and now we have another one that's coming into retrograde as well. Um, and that planet is Mercury. So for those of us who who follow um, the retrograde cycle, you know that Mercury retrograde is no joke because that's when everything gets thrown out of whack. It's off balance. Everything is messed up. There's tension. There's frustration. Everything. So I just wanted to jump on and give you guys like a really quick um, tip, just a couple of tips that you need to keep in mind um, during the um, the Mercury retrograde. So this particular retrograde will affect two signs in particular, and those signs are Gemini and Taurus. So it starts on May 10th and goes all the way through June 3rd. So uh, first up will be Gemini. And then on the 22nd is when, it, when uh, Mercury moves away from Gemini and goes into Taurus. So both signs will be affected only for a short while. It'll last about two weeks for each sign um, or less than two weeks because it's 12 days. Um, but here are some tips for both my Geminis and my, my Tauruses um, and any other signs too for you, for you guys to, um, to remember during this time. So tip number one, Avoid getting into any type of agreement, either verbal or written. Um, if you have already gotten into an agreement with something, if you've agreed um, to some kind of like um, contract or, or whatever, whatever the case may be, um, make sure that you read everything first, like that you've dotted all your I's, crossed your T's, and you already know what you're getting yourself into. If you haven't signed anything yet, you haven't signed off on anything, I would wait until the end of the retrograde in order to do that. Because um, you don't want to sign something and then find out later that, oh, you know, this wasn't in the contract or I didn't see this or I didn't know about that. Make sure that you do your research, do your homework, and find out more about what it is you're getting into so that way there's no surprise later on. So that's tip number one, avoid getting into any um, agreements, either verbal or written. Um, tip number two, if you're considering traveling during the retrograde, don't do it. If you do, do it at your own risk. Um, you might run the risk of, of something coming up the last minute, flights getting canceled or delayed. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not pretty. It's very frustrating. So um, if you're planning a trip, I would wait until after the retrograde for you to do it. That way the process is a lot easier and you won't run into any roadblocks along the way. Um, and the, finally, the last thing is choose your words wisely. Gemini is a sign of communication. And I know that, you know, Gemini being the social butterfly you don't want to end up saying something and this goes for gemini and taurus you want to avoid saying things that are going to be hurtful to somebody else so choose your words wisely if you see something or hear something that you don't agree with um there's a way to go about it without being confrontational so avoid any any type of conflict because you don't want to cause tension in the family. You don't want to cause tension in a friendship or in a prospective relationship. So um, that's your tip number three, um, to avoid any type of uh, conflict or um, any type of arguing during um, this time. Because I know that things tend to get lost in translation. So um, what someone says, it's like it goes through so many people that by the time it gets to the actual person, like 
the story is all topsy turvy and you don't know what's true and what's not. So you don't want to get involved in any any type of verbal um, arguments or anything, verbal disagreements, um, to avoid any type of conflict that might come from that. So it's best just to not say anything at all. Just keep quiet and whatever happens, happens. Now during this time, also understand that technology will be affected as well. I mean, we've had Mercury retrogrades before in the past um, and it's affected cell phones, computers, like we, we have difficulty connecting um, online, you know, to Wi-Fi or sending text messages that get delayed. Um, so expect that as well. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys found th these tips helpful and um, take care y'all. I love you. May God bless each and every one of you and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.